First of all, I'm grateful for the opportunity that uh, Jamie gives us. We've done this every other year now, and, and he doesn't need to do that. So that just speaks to him and, and uh, you know, the type of, I think, the type of loyalty that the guy has and uh, just wanting to do this. Uh, I think he could get easier matchups and, um, you know, because we do, I think we do give him, we do give him some challenges out there, and, uh, but uh, he'd rather continue to play us. So um, I'm, I'm grateful for that. Um, and, you know, I mean, he has a class program. They, they got a lot of good players, they, but, uh, you know, they're in a point right now that uh, they got to kind of figure out how the pieces of the puzzle fit. And there's some guys that might not play now, I'm sure, on his team that might be uh, stars in February. That's it's a long basketball, such a long season that you really can't figure it out in, uh, in October. Okay. Um, some guys will, some guys will improve and get better and some will level off. And, but I think he has enough, uh, different weapons there to, uh, and, and over time, when they figure out how to, uh, you know, uh, which ones are best playing together, which combinations are best, I think uh, he's going to have a real nice team. Uh, Michael Young is a, you know, I don't know if he was, he looks like he grew and put on 20 pounds since last year. Well, we didn't play him last year, but maybe I just, maybe on TV he didn't look this big. But he's a, he's a man child right now. He's a, you know, I, I, he's going to be a better player than, um, I think he's going to be the best low post player they've had in a number of years, and that includes Steve Adams. Now that's a little bit unfair to Steve, but because Steve is, you know, a freshman, but uh, I think he's going to be a guy that can really score in there and, and, and really score on the perimeter. He's a he's a star in the making, and uh, um, seems like he has the right attitude to go along with it. All right. What does a game like this do for your guys? I mean, obviously. Well, it challenges us. You know what? We're, we're you know we've been. We finished the season top 25 the last five, six years. This team's as good as, is, is good enough to do that also, okay? Um, uh, and, and they need to be challenged. It, it exposes. What you try to do with these games is you try to, uh, you may see the weaknesses on the court with the guys, but uh, they don't want to buy it. They, don't want, they won't believe it until it's done in game time and they, and they get exposed. We expose them on a few things, I'm sure, and that they got some tape to work, look at, learn, and, and Jamie will get their attention. And then, uh, and then we have a lot to learn from. We, you know, if you don't make a hard cut to get a catch, you know, you're going you're gonna to turn the ball over. Now, when you play against good athletes, now in practice against the second team, they, they don't have to cut hard maybe to get the catch. So, so that, that, that exposes our weaknesses and really allows us to focus on details, as, as every coach needs to focus on, to, to really be the type of team you want to be. And... You know, for example, uh, the, 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 the need to really go at somebody and be physical on your box outs. Uh, when we didn't do that tonight, they took advantage of us and, and put it up on the glass and played volleyball a little bit. But uh, those are just a couple areas where, you know, I think uh, it allows us to, uh, it allows us, it, it, it exposes. I, I say, you, I have a saying, you either get, exp you get exposure or you get exposed, okay? And we did some things tonight where we got good exposure. We executed, we showed the talent that we have. And, and then we did some things tonight where we got exposed uh, for some of the weaknesses that we have. You said you wanted to come out and play some IUP basketball. How do you think you did overall with your style of play? Well, I, uh, overall, overall I'm, I'm, I'm more happy than, than I'm disappointed. Overall, I'm more happy than I'm disappointed because I, I think we battled and we, we competed and, and fouls hurt us a little bit with Brandon in the first few minutes of the game and then uh, some of the big guys later on in the game. So. Uh, but, uh, that, that, uh, but, I, but I think we competed. That's the number one thing, okay? I, I thought we played together. Uh, we had 17 assists for the game. For the most part, we shared it, and we, we can do a little better job with it, a couple guys. But um, I thought that was a, uh, that's IUP basketball, uh, you know, being a team that, that, that uses the system and, and plays off each other to get shots for each other. Three of the players, what? You know, he was talking about getting exposed in games like this or getting your exposure. I mean, what did you feel like you guys got out of this playing against, you know, Pitt? Are these, are these games helpful for you as you go through the season? Yeah, playing Pitt, they're a good defensive team. So I think most of the, mostly that we got exposed was paying attention to detail. Uh, making L cuts to get open for the ball, uh, setting good screens, talking, getting back on transition, them type of things. So playing a good team like this, you get exposed with uh, all the little things. So I, that's what mainly what I think we uh, learned from this game. <clears throat> Jamie? Yeah, to add to that, uh, you know, it will help us 
define our, our execution and uh, get better as far as the future, you know. When they're a lot, you know, bigger than us and it forces us to, to, to be on point with everything that we do. And that's the main thing we took out of the game today.